Here is a small chest waiting for a facelift. For the base color, I applied one cover of Coco chalk paint. My next step is a Paris gray and an old white chalk paint wash. I am going to apply them at the same time to make the corners a bit darker and the middle slightly lighter. I have diluted the paint with half water and using a dabbing technique to spread the paint around. I am not trying to achieve a perfect blend here. Just moving the paint around, avoiding any sharp edges. And as always, spraying the surface with water is helping to get a smoother blend. All paint I'm using in this project is by Anslow. On some pieces of furniture, the hardware cannot be taken off. And this is one of the examples. I want the paint to go inside the crevices, but I want to keep the metal look of the hardware itself. When my piece is half dry, I am going to apply a primer red here and there. I have two cups here. One is with the primer red chalk paint, diluted with some water, and the second is just water. I'm applying a darker red, mostly to the bottom and the corners. Then I am dipping my brush into the water cup and spreading the paint high up and to the middle of the surface to get the lighter red. Spraying it with water and blending it into the other color I have already applied. Again, I am using my favorite dabbing technique. I don't want to completely cover my underneath layers, and dabbing with the wet rug is helping me to spread the paint around without applying it too thick. I do not want too much red, as I want it glimpsing out through the layers I am going to apply next. Here, I am back to my other colors, Paris Gray and Old White, to smooth the edges of the primer red. It looks like a right mess now, doesn't it? It is not the end of my journey with this piece of furniture. For now, let's leave it for overnight to get it completely dry. Stay tuned to see what's coming next. It was snowing later in the evening in our part of France. They say it's the first snow in 10 years, but it looks stunning. Here, our chest is dry and ready for the next step. I have two cups here, one with a graphite chalk paint and another with water. I am dipping my brush into the graphite and then into water to dilute it. I am applying it a bit darker on the bottom and spreading it thinner to the top and to the center. This graphite wash will help me to get all the colors together. As I said before, I want the red color just being slightly visible through the top layers. You can see how easy 
it is to get rid of the excesses of the paint just by using a clean wet rug and water. With my lighter wash, I am also highlighting some details. Better to use very light hand here. We don't want the light color to get into the crevices, which already look nice with the graphite wash. After this stage, we are leaving the piece to dry for overnight. Now, it is dry and ready for the finishing touches. As always, I have applied a clear wax to the whole piece. Before applying the decorative waxes, I normally apply the clear wax again in small sections. You know, the clear wax helps to move the other waxes easily and to get rid of excesses if necessary. On the bottom, I am applying a black wax and with a lint free rug I am taking the excesses of the wax off. As you can see, I have already done the waxes on the other side of the chest. To the rest of the chest, I have applied a brown wax. Some parts I made darker and some lighter. Here I am showing how to apply a dark wax to the hardware. Always make sure that the wax is spread around blends in and look more natural. To finish, I am applying antique gilding wax to the hardware and some under the hardware, which gives it a nice touch. I wanted to preserve the top as much as possible because it is a nice wooden top. I took a steel brush and with the force I brushed the top along the grain. And I've done it to expose and deepen the grain. After that, I have applied a Paris gray chalk paint. This is the second coat I am doing. 
I am not going to keep it this way, as it is not matching the rest of the chest. But I wanted to show you that it can be done and it looks very pretty. It's called a serious finish, if I pronounce it correctly. I decided to fill the grain with a varnish. It is the same technique. I am applying the varnish, rubbing it in, and then wiping it off against the grain. One day, I might do the white finish on the other piece, but here, I like the dark finish better. What do you think? Let me know in the comments below. The things to remember here you go with the steel brush along the grain. Then you rub the paint in and wipe it off against the grain. And here it is. You can see all the colors I have applied are showing through. This is the beauty of the layers. Thank you for stopping by. I am looking forward to see your comments. Your support means a lot to me. See you with my next fun project.